Why is Yoda so good at gardening? Because he has a green thumb. <laughs> I'm so funny. Bruh. Oh, hey, this jar right here definitely got it at a Goodwill in South Carolina. It was really freaking cool. So just wanted to show that to you. You know, because I like showing things. I like showing off my stuff. Hello, friends. My name is Kat Kinway, and welcome to my art channel. On this week's episode, we are going into, you guessed it, more therapy. Yay! Episode two, betch. If you want to check out the first video, it's right here. Now, we're all about self-love and spiritual journeys here. I have been on a quest, a quest through my brain, which is a little messed up, but we're not gonna go into details. You and me, we're finding peace. More specifically about social media and making mistakes. Time to dive into this artsy fartsy magic. Another lazy afternoon. All right, so we are going to be talking about making mistakes. And I'm not going to let anyone get in my way. I'm a failure. After all that hard work, I'm sorry, all might. I'm sorry, Mom. God, I've been falling for a long time. Stuff that happens and we feel shameful about. So let's talk about it. No. Let's chat. Let's chat and bat. I mean... <laughs> That was so bad. All right, so making mistakes is a part of being human. Making a mistake, rejection, or failure does not make you a mistake, reject, or failure. Just because you fucked up does not mean that you are a fuck up. It does not make you a terrible person. Pay attention to your inner critic, which is that little voice in the back of your head saying, you messed up, you're a bad person, and therefore you cannot live a happy life. Don't listen to your inner devil voice. Don't listen to that. Say, hey girl, I ain't about that. You have to have self-compassion. Pay attention to that voice and consider that your fuck up is one drop of water in a pool of past experiences. Remember that making errors doesn't mean you are in fact a fuck up. Just wanted to throw this out there. Most of the information that I got for this video is a book called How to Be Alone and Together, 72 Lessons on Being at Peace with Yourself by Megan Bruno. I kind of just wanted to use myself as an example because sometimes I do feel like I'm a failure at being an artist. I haven't established a career in it quite yet. And I've been working towards it for probably more seriously over a year now since I started YouTube. That's kind of when I really wanted to dive into an art business and becoming an artist. However, I have not established a full-time career in it and often I feel like I am failing at it. Really, I just need to tell myself that that is not the case. I am working towards it. It is a process and I'm not a failure yet. <laughs> we could also go down the road of Kat's mistakes in the past, but Again, not going into details. Now let's talk about social media. Media marketers provide false promises of perfectionism. Perfecto. Examples are Instagram, Facebook, yada, yada, yada. Nobody talks about their dirty laundry online. It is a clear coat magazine cover of everybody's life and nobody's talking about what they're talking about in therapy. Or their friends or close family members, if you can't afford therapy, I know it's expensive, it's like 250 bucks a month if you wanna pay it out of pocket online. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I really think mental health needs to be more affordable for today's age. Everything is going up in price and none of the wages are <coughs> nurses. Just saying, people are getting paid $20 an hour and staff nurses are still getting paid $26 an hour. So tell me what's wrong with this country. Even though we already know the problems in the healthcare system, insurance, hospital, CEOs, all being greedy towards the poor and the working. So, you know, honestly, this is America. Fuck America. I'm just saying we could do way better if women ran it. Um, moving on. So we are going to be talking about how society, speaking of, huh, Society teaches us once we are fixed, then we can be happy. Once 
We fit the guidelines of what is normal. Let's say getting married, having kids, having a house. Again, the white picket fence all before the age of 25. Then you will be happy. And if you don't do it before age 25, then it has to be before age 30. And then once you turn 30 and you still don't have those things, well, your life is just going to be in crisis mode forever and ever and ever. That is what society is teaching us. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna point this out there. Um, what if you don't fit into lives normal? No, unacceptable. What if you don't fit into that category at all? That's okay because feeling not normal is in normal nobody has it all figured out okay no like honestly nobody does this is what other people have been saying for generations and generations and generations and they keep saying the same old thing look at your parents who are super depressed and miserable and they're just raw dogging it and they're okay with it they're fine I, they're not fine but they're fine and think about it all of oh Oh, there's my puppies. There's my babies. Look at my babies. Oh my God, aren't they so cute? <laughs> okay, anyways, <laughs> because mental health is not an issue. It is not a thing. People don't have depression. What? People don't have anxiety. What? No, you internalize everything. No, 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 no. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not have it all figured out. Every human has a place of shame and weakness and that's okay. By the way, I just wanna clarify in my comment earlier, I'm not bashing on men or anything like that. I just think women need a chance to be in power. I mean, come on. We haven't had any female presidents. That's my opinion. You can disagree with it. I'm just saying. Anyways, moving on. Humans are meant to be interdependent, not independent. Our nature is to rely on others. We're supposed to rely on our loved and trusted ones. Soul independence can hold you back from connection, success, or receiving the emotional treatment and support that everybody needs. Do I think I'm an independent person? Absolutely, I can pay my own bills, I can pay my own bills, and I can pay my own bills. That means I'm, I mean to me, personally, that means I'm independent. <laughs> But I do rely on my friends and my partner for my emotional support system whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I'm going through some trauma, whenever I want to talk about some shit. I don't want to just talk to myself about that. I, I, you need people. So you can be independent, just not solely independent. We shouldn't abandon ourselves at times of loss either. Examples are losing a job, going through a divorce, or having body changes like losing weight or gaining weight. And if you look at yourself in the mirror and you think to yourself, ugh, I hate myself because I lost my job. Would you talk to a friend this way? Would you talk to a friend? No, you wouldn't. So don't talk to yourself that way. Because what is the good in that? It's not going to help you at all. It's not a healthy coping mechanism. And you shouldn't talk to yourself that way, period. Let's talk about feelings of regret because it happens, okay? It, we all have a little tendency to have a little regret in our lives. And what is the first practice? What have I been saying this entire time? Self-compassion. We make decisions based on the information that we have at the time. Try shifting regret to guilt and see if you can learn from the experience or make it right. I mean, I really don't wanna be that person, but hashtag no regrets. Did I have regrets in my past? At the time, yes, I did regret some things, but now looking back, no, I don't regret it because if I didn't go through it, then I wouldn't have learned from it. I would have just kept doing the same things over and over again. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is basically our behaviors and habits that we do every day. So ask yourself, are your behaviors serving you with purpose? And are these behaviors causing you suffering? I want you to think about those two questions, write it down in a journal, really think about it. Comment it down below. What have you been trying to improve on yourself? So if you guys liked this video, if you liked me, if you liked my art, give me a like and subscribe, hit those buttons. Beep boop. I post every single Wednesday. It says Saturday on the top, but don't pay attention to that. I'm a busy bee. Here's my signature. Here's the finished 
moth product. I don't know what I was doing. It was just a fun morning. Anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. May the 4th be with you. Peace, love, and magic. Bye. See my peanut butter jelly snack. Pull it right, brushy, uh, painting. That's my sunshine when it's